Hello, guys. Hi, teacher. It's Hi. nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you again. How are you? How is everybody? Hey, Dinora, you're back after a while. How was Mother's Day? Alone. You're lonely? Yeah. Your mother is so far. Oh no. Yeah. You can hear, I guess. Mm -mm. All right. Nice, let's move the microphone. There's a, a man speaking. Hold on. Yeah, that's better now. Thank you. Well, thank you for joining uh, today's tonight's class, actually. We're going to practice, because that's where we left off. We were talking about, um, here, we're here. We were talking about wishes with the past, right? And all this stuff. Let me see. So I sent you last class. I'm gonna send it to you again because that is what we're going to practice. Let's review quickly before we move on. Okay, so you say, for example, imagine if I want to say something about your personality, can somebody tell me using wish plus past? Can somebody tell me what you would like to change? Volunteers? Nobody? Okay. Um, maybe I wish I have uh, another job. So like this? Like this? Is that correct? Mm -hmm. In the past? Uh -huh, in the past. I, I wish, wish I had, I had, I wish I I had another I job. Very good. That's what you're supposed to say, okay? And if you talk about a third person, for example, we're going to say my mother, my mother and wife. Let's complete it. Carla, can you help me? My mother wish I stay with her. Stay. Like this in the past. Is that correct, guys? There is one mistake here. Maybe the soldier, she, she wishes. My mother wish she wishes. Like. Wishes. Yes, my mother, because this is third person. My mother wishes I stay with her. Okay, that is what you're going to do. Now, let's take a look at the images. I'm going to send you to WhatsApp. Okay, I sent them last time, and they're for you to discuss. Um, for example, hold on. Mm -hmm. One person, guys, did you discuss these questions? Can you check them, please? Okay, check WhatsApp right now and help me out. It says student A and student B. It says, where do you wish you lived and why? Did you discuss those questions? No, right? We didn't? Mm, I think no. no. No, I think we didn't. No, ma'am. So one person is going to be student A, the other person will be student B and discuss those questions, but make sure you're using the correct structure that you're saying wish and the verb in the past, okay? So this is a speaking practice. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's practice. Um, we're gonna do that in small groups of three. Let me see. Yes, groups of three. Accept the invitation, please.
Hi, Flor. Accept the invitation, please. That I, that I sent you. Accept the invitation. Click on accept. Hi. Hi. Le envió una invitación o la recibió? De, de, no. Sí, la recibí, me conecté, pero me regresó. Yo igual. Really. Milton Florent Carlos. La recibí y ya estaba adentro y de repente me sacó, no sé por qué. Ok, let me see. Carlos Milton Miguel Campos. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, well, the for hold on, I will send it again. One second. Dígame si la recibe, Flor. Vaya, vaya, gracias. Milton, are you there? Creo, creo que tengo problemas. ¿eh? Mira. Hi, Kelia. One second. Accept the invitation, Kelia. Hola, hi. Hi, accept the invitation, please. Okay. Okay, Carlos, Milton, and Miguel, you're going to work together. Okay. Here, you can work here. So start discussing the questions, please. Here. Yes, yes. Okay. Hi. Hello. All right. So open the Hello. email. Lord, you're gonna be A. Kelly, that you're gonna be B. Okay. So ask the question and discuss using the correct structure. B, for example. Um, okay, okay. Sería, I wish, the language I wish, understood, understood. I wish, is, I, I wish, I understood. I wish I understood English. <laughs> You understand English. What are we saying right now? <laughs> Come on. Yes, but but I'll, I need more. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and why? Because it, bueno, su, o sea, desearías, ajá, algo algo supuesto, digamos, un escenario mm -hmm. hipotético. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Que algo que tú hubieras pasado. querido hacer en el, en el pasado, a que hubieras querido, uy, puche, que hubiera querido en el pasado ser de tener más recursos ¿no? para ahora en el presente hacer tal cosa o algo así sería. Mm, yeah, yeah. Mm, it's not in the past, José. Hola. It's okay, but it's not in the past. Desearía ser más grande. That's what it means. Desearía tener dinero, but uh, it's not in the past. It's like present. In Spanish we say desearía. Ah. And in English we say I wish I had. El que modificamos es el segundo verbo. Pero es presente, no es algo del pasado. Mm -hmm. Well, in this case, I, I guess I'm not wishing to own a, a large dog, but my reply possibly could be, uh, I wish I, I had a, a large dog. Uh, why? My reply could be, I, I always wanted to have a, a uh, yes, I wish I had a different name, like uh, Brad Pitt. Why, sir? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't like your Are name? Are you as kidding? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Catherine, is your camera working? Oh, yes, it's working, teacher. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that would be better if I... Let me... <laughs> okay. Uh...
<laughs> you're gonna have to get ready <laughs> yeah ready yes he's ready now no, i haven't seen you many times in class excuse me i haven't seen you many times in class pretty few times oh yes yes because my camera is always off i see that uh, those are the disadvantages do you also work in a call center yes me mm -hmm. i can hear you very well can you repeat that question please do you, do you work in a call center yes i mm. am working in a call center yeah i imagine so because you're saying sir ma'am <laughs> i imagine so <laughs> i have three students yes that work in call center mm -hmm. interesting all right go on yes que la estructura es, es así con el verbo en pasado. Okay. Okay, thank you. Continue. Care of the house. Yeah, I can be. Okay, let, let me see another one. Uh, yeah, uh, it's your turn. Tell me. Okay. Uh, how do you wish you feel more often? Why? I wish I had a good feelings, but sometimes I feel so down. And the reason I don't know, but I, I think it's all the humans being have the same feelings, but I don't know. And my turn to you is the number four. Do you wish you had a different name? Why or why not? Hold on, Gabrielle, is Gabrielle here? Yes. Why are you here? You're supposed to be yes. in breakout room three. Yeah. Thank you. No, hold on. I don't know. I sent you the invitation. I cannot send it again. Guys, you need to accept the invitation when I send it because I have a lot of people here now. Okay. Hold on. Gabriel, where can I send you then? Um, hold on, guys. Give me one second. Break up room seven. Gabriel, accept it. Please, I'm going to send it right now. Okay. You got it? Okay, so it's going to be Carlos Herbert. I, hold on, Herbert, I'm gonna assign you to a different one as well. Okay, so Carlos, Milton and Miguel are supposed to be practicing here. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, continue. Okay. Um, Carlos Morales. Yes. Um, it's my turn to ask asking the question, right? Uh, okay. Uh, what's the number four? Do you wish you had a different name? Why or why not? Uh, I will not lie. What? I'll, I will. I will not lie. You wouldn't like. No me gustaría. Uh -huh, I wouldn't like to have a different name. Why not? Yeah. Hold on. Patricia, are you here? Patricia Alemán? I don't know. I think she's not here. Yeah. So Miguel and Milton. And Carlos. Yeah. Miguel Campos, Milton and Carlos. All right, continue, guys. I'm going to check on the other thing. Okay. Ah. Let's. Homework. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Homework. Never. <laughs> <laughs> it's teacher. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Hey, you never get homework. <laughs> Just in, time. Homework, so it's, it's Just in time. 
I know it's only for fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, okay. Go back. Okay. That's why I would like to to have a, a a bigger house. And your term <laughs> is everybody's the, listening the to you guys right right now, so we're good. I think. <laughs> Thank you. We're back. All right. Okay. I see another image. Did you practice? Okay. Okay. Complicated. Okay. And and what's up, right? Yeah, the whole group is back. Everybody's here right now. Okay. So I'm saying, guys, did you practice? Yes. Is it difficult? Yeah, we, we practice. Uh, yeah I, I feel a little bit difficult because I arrived in my English class late. I mean, seven minutes late. Oh. Wait, what, 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 oh, what, what happened? happened? But, but I was checking at the week in the class, you know, in the platform. And I, and I was practicing the witch. Practicing. Yeah. Great. Now we're going to practice I, with this, guys. Sorry. I had problems with number, let's just use number five, I guess, because mm -hmm. it, it was difficult for me to to do it. Number five, student A or B? Because it's in third person, right? It's five. Mm-hmm. Do you wish your teacher gave you more homework? Mm -hmm. What is your confusion there? Everybody, let's use the microphone, please, except the person who is asking me a question, because I don't know who that is. Thank you. Um, uh -huh. What's your confusion? It has to be something like, um, let me see, do you wish your teacher gave My teacher wishes, right? No, because here you're wishing for someone else. You're saying, I wish, I wish my teacher gave me less homework. Okay. Like this. Because it's your wish. It's not that your teacher wishes, uh -huh. wishes anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does your teacher wish? Always the verb is in past. Um... This is a very fast here, Dave. Always. In this case, because this is a current wish. This is right now. So it's in the present simple form. Okay. And this verb has to be in the past. Now we're going to do some more sentences before we move on to the midterm, okay? So the first one says, for example, common wishes people have. This is the sentence, I, the, the image I sent you. You're gonna discuss this in groups of three with different people, all right? So the first one says, add more hours to the day. Uh, that is a regular wish. So you're gonna say, I wish I could add, for example, but you have to say something personal. In my case, I wish, let's say something, I wish I could add uh, at least three hours to the day. What about you? Do you wish you could add more hours to the day, guys? Or is it okay? Or reduce it? No. We are okay. No. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. No, sometimes. I wish I could. And that in yes. the job, I, I would like to add three hours more to the day. Uh huh. So some people <laughs> are saying, I don't, you can say it in the negative form. No, I don't wish. I don't wish I could add hours. So you can make it negative, all right? And then improve your personality. So what aspects of your personality would you like to change? You can say, for example, I wish I weren't, because remember this is more common, right? Instead of wasn't, I wish I weren't so um, impatient, for example. Okay, and say something that is true about yourself, about this image. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna recreate them. I wish I wasn't so impatient. Impatient, right? Okay, in small groups of three or four, we're going to work. So accept the invitation. Make sure you accept the invitation, please. Here we go. Let's do this quickly.
right? So we had we have to build like uh, sentences with wish, some, some wishes that we could have, maybe. Okay. Okay. That could be an example. Yeah, it could be an example. Another could be I wish. Como que estamos siempre con el, 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 con el, el wish, wish y el pasado, ¿verdad? De los verbos. Algo así entendido, oh. pero no, no sé si puse algo ahí en WhatsApp. Oh, en uh, the pictures. The pictures uh, mm -hmm. say, which of these wishes will be easy to do? Yes, I think that we have to make sentence. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, only just this discuss yeah, about this the, the question. The it says which of these uh -huh. wishes would be easy? Which would you be which would be difficult? What are some things you would like to do? So for example, when you say what things would you like to do, you can say I wish I could improve my personality, I wish I had a different character i wish i had more friends you don't need to modify the, this sentence you need to make your own sentence about that situation so yes what things would you wish you could change about your health about your home about your friends real things okay what the next one yeah alvaro I wish become healthier. <laughs> I wish I became. I became, became healthier. Healthier, right. Make sure you say I, I, or I and another person, or another person, it, you have two subjects in the sentence, all right? I, I, my teacher, I, or I, my teacher. So you need two subjects in the sentence. Okay. For example, my father wishes I were in El Salvador. Okay, I wish my father came here. So, or I wish I that is were better daughter. that your father <laughs> visit to you. Yes, it's better, but he wishes me, he wishes I was there. <laughs> it's true. So, you see, you have two subjects in the sentence. Even if it's only you, you have to say, I wish I, right? So, pay mm -hmm. attention to that. Great. So I used to have a friend in the call center. He used to uh, speak like that, like some type of British British accent. It was kind of cool. Um, yeah, I accent. used to have accent. Yeah. Uh, I wish change my appearance. Sorry, Sergio. Make it. Hola. I wish I. You need two subjects. I wish I. I wish I. I wish I change my appearance, making more exercise. Mm. No, but what would you like to change about your appearance? In my case, I wish I had straight hair, for example, because it's wavy. <laughs> what about you, girls? What would you like to change I, about your appearance? I wish I have Hi. my weight. More weight. No. No, my weight. What is that? Mi peso. Okay. Ah, menos peso. No. Ah. I wish I have less weight. No. Yes. Or you can say, I wish I were thinner. I wish I were thinner. Thinner. <laughs> thinner. Thinner. Más delgada, yes. Thinner, for example. Okay. Fabiola, you're so thin. And you want to be thinner? <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Catherine? In my case, I wish I have um, a different nose. <laughs> because my nose is very small. <laughs> That's good. What are you talking about? All right. Yes. So, so yes. that's how you make it, Sergio. Right. You can say anything about your appearance. Not what's written there. It can be anything. 
great. <laughs> Some yeah. beach. Mexico, Mexico is really good. Yes. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. You finished? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. Let's go back then. Okay, here we are. Mm -hmm. We already practiced wish, okay? Uh, something I want to emphasize, yeah. hold on, let me share with you. Something I want to emphasize is that you're missing to you, you're failing at using two subjects, guys. So you have to say I wish, and then I and the verb, all right? You need to say I, I twice. So I wish I were colored, for example, all right? Or this can be any subject, all right? This one here can be any subject. But this is personal. You can say, for example, I, why am I writing wish with a? I wish, for example, I wish, and instead of I, I'm gonna say all my students were in class, okay? So instead of I, I'm saying my students. Now I'm gonna change, because I, I so I, or I noticed that you had confusion, I think you were not clear with this. In this case, we can say, for example, um, Bobby, I don't know who Bobby is, but Bobby wishes, instead of I am saying Bobby, right? And then I know the subject. Bobby wishes if Katya loved him, but she doesn't love him, <laughs> okay? So you need two subjects with these sentences. So make sure you're using both. All right, now, any questions about this topic before we move on? Questions, now or never? No? No, I'm not. I don't have any questions. All right, great. Very good, let's move on then. No, Everybody, no, we... on the platform, please platform and we need to go to the midterm section it says midterm exam that's what we're going to work with it's so you see yes so is everybody on the platform yes teacher that's the platform please everyone let me see if this are here mm -mm. Because I noticed two people said in the group that they didn't know they had to work on the platform. I don't know how. But um, can somebody, do me a favor, guys. Can you send this link, this one right here, the platform link to the group, just to make sure that everybody can access it? Because you receive an email with the entire information, right? But in case you didn't check that email or something, can somebody please send this screenshot? I mean, or I will send it. It's all right. Uh, we're going to work on the listening, okay? And answer the following questions. So it says, Tom grew up in, Carol used to, according to Helen, Anna can join a carpool bike. So we're going to answer those questions. This is section A. Let's listen. And then tell me what the answers are. But answer the questions with me on your platform, all right? Here we go. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Tom Jordan. I just moved into the building. Nice to meet you, Tom. I'm Sarah Hagen. Are you from around here? No, I'm not from San Diego. I'm actually from San Francisco. Oh, were you born there? No, I was born in Japan, but I grew up in San Francisco. Really? Do you speak Japanese? Unfortunately not. I was only a baby when my family left Japan and moved to the States. Two. How's your meal, Carol? It's really good. Do you want to try some? No, thanks. So tell me, what were you like as a child? Oh, when I was a kid, I was really into books. I used to read all the time. What kinds of books? Well, I remember I used to read comic books a lot, and I loved reading mysteries. Did you collect anything? No, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect old black and white photographs. 
Three. I had an interesting evening last night. Why? What did you do, Helen? Well, I went to a city council meeting on transportation. Oh, I wanted to go to that. What happened? First, several people talked about traffic problems. Some said there's too much traffic. And then others talked about not having enough buses. That's true. And then I stood up and said there isn't enough parking downtown. We need more public parking garages. Four. Hey, Steve, guess what? I had to wait 30 minutes for a bus this morning. My commute is getting worse and worse. It's because there are too many cars on the road. You know, Anna, I think you need to join a carpool. Carpool? What's that? It's a group of people who ride to work together in one car. Oh, right. That's a good idea. How do you join a carpool? There's a phone number you can call. You just leave your address and phone number, and someone calls you back with the names and numbers of people in your neighborhood who want to carpool. I see. How do you know so much about this? I called that number five years ago. Okay, so it says, Tom grew up. Do you have the answers, or would you like to listen to it one more time? San Francisco. San Francisco. Oh, so you have the answers. Very good. So Tom grew up in San Francisco. Very good. Carol, you yes. too? Read comic books. Collect read comic books. Collect a photo. Collect no, read comic books. Photos. Comic books. Very good. Three, according to Helen. There. Teacher it's Joseph an... is collecting all photos. It's... Read comic books. Mm -hmm. I will answer what the majority says and then we're going to check. Okay. So, okay. the collect. majority says collect. Guys, give me the answer. Collect all photos. Uh, comic. Read comic. Read, books. Read comic, comic books. books. Okay, the majority is saying read, read comic books. Okay, three. <laughs> According to Helen, there. <laughs> it's, it's enough parking downtown. It's enough parking downtown. It's enough parking downtown. The same. <laughs> it's right. enough parking downtown. Or Anna can join a carpool by calling, calling a phone number. Calling a phone number. Calling a phone number. number. Right. Calling a phone number. Phone that is right. Phone number. Okay. Good yeah. job, team. <laughs> <laughs> microphone, please. Hold on, I'm gonna mute everyone. And if you want to participate, unmute it, please. Very good, we did great. Now we're going to do section B. Okay. Help me out. Uh, what is the right answer here, Fernando Lopez? Everybody, be responsive, attentive, please. Yes, go ahead. <clears throat> mm. Read the statement. Where? Where was your ball? No. But um, where, where, yes. Where, 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 where was your ball? Where were you born? Guys, but with where you, you, where you, you were. You were. <laughs> where? Where? Okay. Where were you born? Where were, where you, born? were you born? The third one. Very good. Right, number two says use. Oh my gosh, Let's to put this in order? No, okay. Good. Complete the conversation in the past tense and make sure to not use or use capital letters when necessary. Letter A, Herbert, you want to help me? I go. Um, did in high school? No, he didn't. High school. Did you study? Did you did you study French in high school? But guys, no, he didn't. He didn't study French in high school. It says he. Did he okay. study? He studied. He studied French. Study French in high school. No, he didn't study French in high school. He studied Spanish. Okay, I'm gonna try that one. I'm not sure if that's the one. But all right. A second one. I'm going to try Patricia. 
Patty, not here. Kelida? When, when you graduate. When did you graduate from college? When did you graduate? When did you graduate from college? Yes, remember to follow the structure, okay? When now, did they? they? The subject, it says they graduated they? from college in 2010. When did So, when did you? They, but it, the answer says they, guys. They graduated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When did they? Did they graduate? Yes, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Somebody had a question. When did... ¿Qué número está viendo del ejercicio, teacher? Perdón. No, it's the midterm letter oh. B. Oh. Yes, midterm letter B. All right, so everything good. Good job. Now, letter C. We're going to go to the vocabulary section. All right. Eh, Otto, can you help me, please? Number one. Hello, teacher. Peach. Otto is busy a little bit. All right, someone else, let me see. Yeah. Hold on. Sorry, teacher, I'm at work. That's okay. What's the answer? Can we see the options now? Ah, the options. Beach. Beach. Choose to go to the beach. A beach. With your friends. All right. Great. Number two, Fabiola. I really enjoy playing chess, chess when I was a teenager. Uh, chess, okay. Chess. Great. Number three. Alvaro. Snake. Snake. It had a mutual fit including a rabbit and a snake. Let's see. Okay, awesome. Rabbit. Awesome. We're almost done with the midterm. We're going to finish it up by tonight. Okay, now we're going to use used to, something we also studied in class previously. Okay, and the example says we have to make a question. Did you used to play basketball when you were in high school? So this is complementary, right? The structure is here. You have did, subject, and used. Okay, let's make number one, Alvaro. I'll leave the example there. Alvaro, go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are we only using... Did you board? play soccer when you were a child? But we're using used to. Did you used to? Did you yeah. used to play soccer when you were a child? Like this, right? Did you use to? With D or without D, guys? Without D. Without it, very good. Awesome. Jackie, number two? I used to. Uh huh. Used With D to. or no D? I used With uh, D. Use. I used to play soccer every day. I used yeah. to play soccer every day. Very good. Every day after school. All right. Number three. Um, mm, Sergio. Sergio, you're mute. Okay. Uh, what? What thing you did just to collect? Mm. Did no. you used to follow the structure WH did the verb in the base form? So what things is WH guys? Then auxiliary and subject and then the verb. Do you used to? Yes. Did you use to? Did and you... we have to include collect, I think. Because it's a bit in parentheses. Okay, awesome. Number four. Yes, 
Okay, number four. Number four is collected. Collected. With the AD. And then. Anything on this child, but now I can get this. Okay, we're going to try that. Let me see. Okay, great teamwork. We got all the right answers. Very good. Uh, you have questions about the previous part? You're working with me, right? On the platform. Don't wait until the weekend. You should be doing that right now with me at the same time. Okay. Um, questions with this? No? All right, let's move on. We're going to go to letter E. So it says, we have to put the correct word order. Let's put this in the right order, following the structure we learned, okay? Catherine, first one, please. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. The fewer shall noise, the less be car M. Uh, the second one, there shall be fewer noise on this car. The Do you all agree, guys? Teacher? No. No. The number three. No. The three. There oh, should be fewer cars and less noise. You know why? That can be because fewer, you're going to use it with countable, and less with uncountable. Noise cannot be pluralized. So you have to use less noise and fewer cars. All right? Don't forget that, guys. Uh, yes. So few yes. with okay. countable, right? In less with uncountable. Okay. Uncountable. Very good. In number two, Fabiola. This one's complicated. Mm -hmm. Fabiola, you're, you're on mute. Ah. Sorry. I hear you. We should have more. Should more bicycle lanes. We should. We should. We should. We should have more bicycle. The bicycle lanes. Lanes. Period or without a period? I don't know. But don't look. We should have. All right, more one hole. Bicycle. There is much. There is too much pollution. There is too much pollution. A pollution is. Uh -huh, so there is. There is much there is. pollution air. There is too much air pollution. pollution. There is. Too much air, uh, air pollution. There is too much air pollution. Air pollution. Air pollution. Let's send it and see if it's right. Yeah. Look at you. Great. Okay. I think this is it. Do we have one more section? Yes. The last section. And with this, we'll finish the midterm. So if we are like in the middle of the, of the, um, of the course, right? We have two more weeks. So next Thursday, we're gonna finish class, guys. Just to know that, right? So we're right now in the middle. Okay, indirect questions. Your favorite topic. <laughs> Let's see, number one, Jose Hernandez. Remember, you're on mute, guys. So if I ask you, you need to unmute your microphone. Thank you. Jose? Oh, Jose's gone. Sorry. Sorry. Number one. Number one. This one? Do you know? Number Six. one. Third one. one. And next, Herbert. I'm having issues with my internet. I'm sorry. It's okay. Number one. Herbert, number two. How much? 
the newspaper cost? Would you tell me? Would you tell me how much newspapers cost? So the first one is the third one. Third one. Great. Yes. All right. Next. Santiago. Three. Guys, Santiago will answer. Hold on, I'm giving him a chance. Santiago, I don't hear you. Okay. Uh, is, uh, do you know where the best bookstore in town is? Is that number two? The second one? Uh -huh. The best bookstore in town yes. is. Let's see, try Carla. Outside do Hello, the time. bank close. Uh, can you tell me what time the bank close? First one. So the third one, all right. Can you tell me what time to close the third one? What? No, close is it the first one? one. <laughs> first one. The first one. All right. Go Can on. you tell me what time the bank is closed? Bank I was closed. thinking that that looks very weird. I said, okay. Great, great, great. I think we finished. Let me see. Section F. Oh, there's one more. Okay. Well, let me see. This is gonna be homework, guys. Mm -mm. It's not that long. We're going to do it right now. I want you to do this in pairs, okay? We can finish this and then we'll finish the class. So you can finish uh, the entire midterm tonight and then tomorrow we move on with the second part of the course, okay? So please read one paragraph out loud and then answer the question, right? We're going to do it in pairs. Section G, I think it is. Let me see. Section G. All right, let's work in pairs and do it quickly. We only have four minutes to do this or five maximum. So we're going to work in pairs. Accept the invitation, please. Hold on. Accept it now.
Hi guys, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, yes. uh, let's yeah. do the exercise quickly. We only have three minutes. To answer the question. Can you go wherever people walk, jog, or ride bikes? The Seedway is an environmentally friendly and energy efficient machine. Fernando, can you hear Jose? Mm, creo que tiene problemas. Okay. Are you answering the questions though? Sí, sí. Okay. Let's try to finish. Sí, sí. We only have two minutes. Okay. Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Because it says Expedia L1 here, so I don't know your name and I don't, I don't uh, see you. you no, he, he is Ricardo Guzman. Ah, Ricardo, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm modifying it. Make sure sí. you change it so I can call you by your name, all right? Did you finish the exercise? Sí. I didn't know you were alone. Sí. You finish exercise G? Sí. Yes? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, yeah, hold on. We're going to go back now, so that's it. Sorry that you are alone. If, you're, if this ever happens to you, please let me know. Say, teacher, I'm alone. There's nobody with me, okay? But it's all right. Here we are. Who finished? Were you able to finish section G? Yes. Yes. You did? So everybody yes. finished the midterm? Yes, I am that. I I finished. I, it. I finished it. Yeah, awesome. I finished. So we finished our first step, right? We're halfway there, like the song. <laughs> Great job. All right. Um, tomorrow we're going to start with the second part, as I said. And if you haven't finished the platform, eh, this is where you should be. You should be, or you should have finished the midterm. All right. That's where you should be. From now on, we can do it together. We can do it in class. And if you have any questions, you can ask me here while in class, right? Or you can also ask Jonathan if you notice, in case that you have questions about the platform or something. But you need to work all the way from section one, two, till the midterm, and three, okay? Thank you, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. This has been class. Everyone. See you. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.